see, the Bible explains to a T what we go through. You see? But see, once it's explained to you by somebody that understands it, that's why I'm here. To explain it to you in a way you can understand it, so now you know why there's this battle going on. That it's normal. You see, Christians will tell you, well, you're just not having enough faith. Or you just said, no, it's normal that we're going to fight this battle till we go home to be with him. The devil is always going to try to stop us from doing this. Always. No matter how long you've been saved, you are gonna, he's going to fight you. And he's going to win sometimes. You don't have to be some, come to church like you've got it all going together. Don't lie. You know that you can't do it. That's why, that's why when somebody gets, becomes a religious Pharisee, telling everybody, oh, look, you're doing this, you're doing that, I'm not. They're not. They're worse than you. See, there's no such thing as self-righteousness in the Christianity. It's Christ righteousness. We can't do it. I can't do it. Try. You tried, haven't you? Haven't you tried to live this? Don't word and deed. You go try to do it in your flesh. Go love your enemies. Go be nice to all the people that hate you. You go ahead and tell me how good you do with that. Now listen. Is everybody in Galatians 5? Look at verse 16. He's saying here, Paul's talking to us. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other. Get it? These two, this is fighting that's going on up here. Fighting each other, why? Look what it says. So you're not free to carry out your good intentions. You have good intentions, but you can't carry it out because you've got this conflict going on. And you've been living in the flesh for so long that it usually wins out. See, it takes time. Listen now. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you're not free to carry out your good intentions. Now look at verse 18. But when you're directed by the Spirit, you're not under obligation to the law of Moses. What's he saying? He says you're not under obligation to follow a bunch of rules. See, you follow the desires in your heart because you're set free, and you want to please God because you love God. Not because you have to do it, because you want to do it. You don't have to. A born-again believer wants to. See the difference? The big difference of having to and wanting to. Every day I get up, I want to do the right thing. I don't want the old John to come up. But unfortunately, he does sometimes. But I have another power within me that fights back. So when he comes out, I put him back. No. John, get back, home. Get back in the house, John. Go back home. Nobody wants you over here. See what I'm saying? How many of us fight this battle? Am I the only one? You get what I'm saying, right? Well, if, if you're not trying to fight this battle, then you're going to say, well, do I have the Holy Spirit in me to fight it? This is the thing. You should always have a conviction to do the right thing as a born-again believer. Can I get an amen here? That's the evidence that you're saved. A desire to do what's good. Even though you might not carry it out all the time. 